Well, tensions are running high in Cupertino this evening. A developer there has some pretty big plans for hundreds of new homes, but some neighbors in the area are saying not so fast. These homes would be built on what was the old Valco Mall on North Wolf Road. KPIX 5's Len Ramirez tells us that part of this housing fight is over fast tracking this project. Len? That's right. People have been talking about building uh, something on the old Valco uh, fashion mall uh, property. It's been talked about for years, but nothing has ever happened. A developer now has big plans for affordable and uh, market rate housing as well as retail. But affordable housing is somewhat uh, controversial in a town like Cupertino. Tonight, what amounts to a showdown with the city council deciding the future of those plans. The defunct Valco shopping mall is the testing ground for a new state law, SB 35, and the outcome could determine not only the future of this vacant retail center, but the direction of cities like Cupertino. On a scale of 1 to 10, this opportunity is an 11. Carl Guardino of the Silicon Valley Leadership Group is backing a developer's plans to build 2,400 homes on the Valco site, of which about half would be considered affordable for low-income or very low-income people. It provides for a spectrum of housing needs. Needs. It provides market rate homes, but it also provides for those folks who wait on us at restaurants and retail and dry cleaners. The Cupertino City Council is trying to decide if SB 35 applies to the Valco development plan. SB 35, which took effect this year, is designed to make it easier for developers to build more affordable housing more quickly and harder for cities to block it. Residents are concerned about the effects of such a large and diverse housing plan in an upscale community like Cupertino. And it's just going to cause more congestion and overcrowding in the area on the streets and in the school and kind of a trickle-down effect from there. I'm thinking about the traffic and the other thing I'm thinking um, about schools, um, what kind of people, if it's very low-income group, feeding into the schools. If Cupertino moves ahead with plans, a citizens group called A Better Cupertino is threatening to file a lawsuit to stop it. Isn't it funny that a decent, safe, affordable home for a working person and family has become a controversy? Now, this plan has generated so much attention here in Cupertino. The city council actually uh, noted in their agenda that if the speakers go beyond 11 p.m., they will have a cutoff point at 11 and then take it up again tomorrow. Reporting live in Cupertino, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.